peace. Welcome and welcome back to my space. Gratitude, 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 and authentic appreciation for all energetic exchanges, inspired actions taken toward me. However, you feel motivated to do so. I appreciate it. Sagittarius, let's get it. Let's get it. Let's get it. Get it. Get it. Let's see what's going on. What's going on in and or around the Sagittarian archetype? Sagittarius, this is your spiritual orientation for the month of June. What is the Sagittarian archetype playing out at this time? All right. <sighs> All right. Feeling, desiring to be like more Sagittarian, more myself, to be free, to go out and experience. You know what I'm saying? I was repressed for the last year and a half, two years. You know what I'm saying? Let's see what's going on. Like teaching, experiencing, learning, and growing. Authentically Sagittarius. Let me see. With the clouds. The storm is over now. Something like that. All right. On the bottom of the deck, it's like ugh, enough already with the toxic BS. The regressive behaviors, the backstabbing, whatever it is, enough. It feels like, you know, like I, I came from this. You know what I'm saying? It's giving a vibe of I made my own way. Like this is the like I, I dealt, I, I managed the cards that I was dealt, like that type of saying. Like I made my way, like somebody's working toward authentic wish fulfillment right now. And I feel like they came from all types of shit. But like, the, like the, if you want to call it the hood, toxic home environments, whatever the situation, partnerships, whatever, what came out. Oh, the child. Again, like that's what I was feeling like, yo, all my life I had to fight. You know what I'm saying? You could be dealing with a toxic child right now. They could be from age 7 to 13. Like, yo, I don't know what to do with this child. It could be that, too. I'm picking up that, too. Um, And it's a vibe of, like, authentically wanting to be the example. Like, you don't have to deal with this. Like, I dealt with that. I didn't want this for you. Every, like, you know, and... I'm not, you know, I, I was never really into like labels or whatever, just real quick, you know, with the whole Generation Z or whatever, like I just got that vibe and I get it. I get it. I, I'm I'm Gen Z at the heart, whatever the situation is, like whatever, whatever. And I say that to like, you know, that vibe of like, listen, authentically, I'm being myself. Like if I'm hurt or if I feel like you did something, I'm going to say that or whatever. And I feel that right now there's kind of like a wave going on with that vibe of kind of like, well, you did this to me. And if you didn't have children, like, listen, listen, I know the consensus is for with them. Like, I didn't ask to be here. You should have. No, you didn't ask to be here. I'm not one of those people, too, that say, oh, you signed up for this life. You know what I'm saying? You signed up to experience. No, you are here because you are needed, period. All right? We all influence to do something, okay? And while you're young, 13, or you're a minor or whatever, you don't have the freedom to, you know, unless you want to go through courts and emancipate yourself or whatever, to really do whatever. But your third house is your third house. You you want to experience what you're going to be, what is set up to be experienced. And in that way, that's how your life is already planned out. Because you have an archetype in a certain area of life. You have an energy there. And that's what's going to happen, period. And it's how you react and respond and grow through that that makes the difference. So while a less developed mind or soul or whatever may not really get that concept. So there may be some black backlash you're experiencing. If it, if this is like a toxic child, you know what I'm saying? I just say that where you like somebody's just acting out like, you did this to me, dad or mom. like. And, you know, if you're a fuck-ass person, grow up, okay? So they may have, you know, not, that's not to say that it doesn't have any standing at all. 
But if you know that you're quote unquote doing your best, you are going whatever the situation is, you know, give your you know, give them a little bit of low, you know, don't let them get smart, do what you gotta do. You're still a parent, you're still the whatever. But um something like that. Something like that. Anyway, at five one five. Show me Sagittarius. But ultimately, like I like I was saying, like the first vibe of like, you know, I I, I was I was I started out in a very toxic, impoverished even state, and now I'm here. Whatever here is, I want to get away from it. I like I'm I'm on my way to like an authentic like this is my dream life right now. So you, yeah, victory. Ace of Swords, you the truth. You're showing up as the truth right now. You're showing up as victorious. Talk that shit. You know what I'm saying? Can I have like a, what do you call that? Like a, a sharp tongue, like a straight shooter or whatever. But success, all right? King of Cups reverse. Seven of Swords reverse. I do feel like this is a choice to not express Emotional support, love, or whatever. Could be toward a particular person. I do feel like you are very loving. Empress, Ace of Cups. But when it comes to some type of reconciliation with somebody else, it's like, nah, man, I know I'm short, I'm selling myself short. And or I know you are a liar, that you are cold and detached or whatever. So authentically so, I'm withholding. I'm not showing, I'm not expressing any love to you. Like, this is regressive. This ain't growing, you know, to whatever you relate to right now. I don't feel like this is easy, though. I feel like you have to authentically King of Wands in reverse. I feel like this is an authentic vibe of being very much about self. But Eight of Swords is like, I'm not sure. You know what I'm saying? Strength, that there's the courage to and feeling empowered to. Five a cup, I mean, five of pentacles, three of pentacles, six of, yeah, I feel like six of pentacles in reverse. Pentacles is very significant this month. Resources, money, whatever. And this is giving me a, this is giving a vibe of, listen, I'm out in the cold right now. I, I need a job or, you know, I'm looking for a job. There's one in alignment. It's upright. If that's what, you know, you've been focusing on, but there is difficulty here with, authentically receiving some type of support. Six of Pentacles in reverse. Like there is no sharing of resources. I'm not getting a paycheck or something like that. But there is there's a desire. There's there is movement toward peace, rectification. But um when it comes to giving your attention to something in particular, it's like no, you're gonna have to level up or something like that. It feels like it's authentic this king of wands in reverse. I don't feel like somebody necessarily wants to be like that, but with a specific entity or person, it, it, it's feeling very much, it feels like authentically self-centered, okay? What's going on right now before I look into that king of wands in reverse? Because it's underneath the ace of swords. Like, it could be also somebody questioning the way they achieve some type of victory. Like, damn, did I have to do it like that? You know, King of Wands in reverse. Like, do I, did I really have to do that? Because the King of Wands in reverse is like, I'm doing this the way I want to do it, how I want to do it. I'm using, like, whatever I have to do to get what I want. And I'm not even saying that I'm, you know, I might cherish, the, cherish it when I do get it or whatever.
Somebody could be like you could be questioning, like, did I even really want that? Like, did I really even lose out or on anything, or am I winning right now? Eight of Pentacles, so things are progressing. So I will say that you know this is authentic, all right? Somebody King of Wands in reverse, like just doing them the way they want to do it. I don't feel like they're necessarily comfortable with it. Eight of Swords, you know what I'm saying? But I do feel like they were in a situation where they weren't receiving real support, really what they deserve. And it's like, okay, now I have to kind of like overdo it to correct it. It doesn't feel like an overcorrection. Like now I'm swinging too much in the old, in the old way. It feels like now I got to just do this a little bit more. Yeah, look, King of Wands upright. Like being this way is authentic. Look, Ace of Wands with the chariot. See correction. Sun reverse. It's like, listen, I'm in my head about feeling in the dark right now. I'm not really happy. I'm really disturbed. There's a lot of fire showing up here. But right now, it's at the, at this time, or be aware, there's gonna be like a like really like light up here for your own destiny for your own alignment things are going to start producing so like you know this could be questioned like damn like i know like i feel successful it's not really materializing like am i going about this the wrong way like it could be that too like, did my childhood, the way I grew up, like, just go out and get it or whatever the situation is? Like, was that fucked up? Something's working right now. Let me see what this Eight of Pentacles is. Because I'm kind of feeling like, although it is being cold to someone, like, very self, self-serving, self self-centered, I feel like for that particular entity... It's authentic. Yeah, page of pen page of pentacles reverse, king of cups reverse, queen of swords reverse. What is this? Who's, who's all these people? Again, the chariot card with the ten of swords. Your energy could be totally separate from here. You could just be the ace of swords, the eight of pentacles, like I know I work best when I am alone or I focus on self or something like that. Every time I link up with something, it ends up like, like with ten of swords, like very painful. Then I heal myself. You know what I'm saying? I can't talk to them anymore. And I focus my manifestation on what I really want. I don't know. Tell me about this King of Wands. I really don't know. Because something is victorious. It is working. But there's also like some nasty vibes here. This like this this snake vibe, like a hater making you question your empowerment, your your empowerment decisions here. What is this King of Wands in reverse? Who is that? Now this is your position. So when I asked about Sagittarius, I was saying authentic. Like I gotta authentically do me right now. So yeah, I feel I feel like it's authentic. Like yo, there's nothing else. P Princess of Swords in reverse, full card. Like yo, there's nothing else for me to experience here. I can't keep going in my head about this decision. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna do me. Full card. All right, nine of cups in reverse. Like I wasn't happy. I wasn't focused or something like that. Being codependent on someone. I feel like it's authentic because there was nothing else to experience. Nothing. To, nothing to it but to do it something like that now who is this queen of swords in reverse that's like a bitch you know what i'm saying like what they say is authentic all right but it, it cuts you to the it gets you to the bone okay they are not nice about it cold-blooded all right and the king of cups if this could be a couple like a cold-blooded ass couple Because the king of cups in reverse is cold blooded tip. Whoever this is is very defensive. You know, I think whoever this is is cold blooded because five of cups in reverse, like they don't want to be hurt again. So it's like, even though they are someone that's in receiving mode, like they you would approach them with some type of whatever, they're not open to it. 
Okay, very defensive. You know what I'm saying? Their moral standing could be a bit but off. All right, standoffish. Got the world card with the ace of pentacles. You could be trying to get this person's attention. They could be part of an organization, but with the six of wands in reverse, the higher friend reverse, the two of cups in reverse, I don't think it's some place that you really need to be in at all. So you probably got cut out or cut this person out, but I do feel like it is for things to continue to progress here. All right, because the world card with the ace of pentacles, there is significant growth, but I don't feel like, you know, with the higher friend in reverse, like, mm -hmm. listen, y'all cut it out. What is this King of Cups in reverse? I got to take him to the park, let him run around. What time is it? What is this King of Cups in reverse? Ace of Pentacles, Five of Wands. So this could be somebody trying to make you compete. For something, for whatever it's hitting for, I'm just getting an overall vibe that all that glitters ain't gold. Like whatever is popping on in this situation with this couple, with this organization or whatever it is, it ain't really popping. I feel like there is an opportunity, but there's comp there's too much competition over it. Like fighting, like look, three pentacles in reverse. It's not a place where you want to work. Like, or you would be respected for your work or something like that. And the hangman is Sagittarius for me more so than Pisces. With the queen of, queen of Wands in reverse, like, I don't know. Something seems very much, um, like, ego-driven here. With the devil card and the lovers, like, show us why you should be a part of this. Or something like that. Like, huh? Like, here, like, I don't know. Like, it's like a vibe of dangling a carry in front of your face or something like that. I don't know. Mm -hmm. Saying what I get. What's your Sagittarius do? What just, what's the Sagittarius, Sagittarius do at this time? Now, if you like are a child and you got some narky ass parents, you know what I'm saying? Be aware that there, if there is an opportunity, like keep, keep progressing. I mean, keep doing you what you're doing. You know what I'm saying? It's like, am I, it's like King of Wands reverse. Like, am I wrong for doing this the way that I want to do it? How I want to do it? Like, I feel like it's right. I feel empowered. I feel aligned. Yes, you are. King of Pentacles. That's what you should do. Stay grounded. Keep taking care of your responsibilities. All right, dedication. All right, hard worker. Get you know, get down there and do it. You know what I'm saying? Methodical. All right. Six of Pentacles in reverse. Ace of Wands. King of Wands. There's going to be somebody that comes in with a significant offer that's like, yo, out of this world. Like I would love to, but first, you know, it's like Six of Pentacles in reverse. Like something ain't it ain't fair at this time. It ain't fair. So you gotta like kind of play unfair like to rectify that like all right so since this is unfair and you know i kind of can't get with that because they want me to kiss ass and compete being offensive but acting like you receptive like no no so i gotta you know authentically just do me and be a bit more self-centered All right, so be aware, four of wands, there is celebration, there is an engagement for whatever it's hitting for, fun, partying, good times, spiritual alignment, a strong spiritual foundation that, you know, you're in alignment with. Three of, three of wands in reverse, nine of pentacles in reverse. Like, again, you know, um, it feels like focus, like, it feels very self-centered, all right, authentically, all right? Take care of self. Focus on yourself right now. 
and not in a selfish kind of way, if that makes sense. Not with everybody, but whatever you're dealing with. And Nine of Pentacles, like, you know, that's like luxury type things. Like, do nice things for yourself as much as you can. And again, in a financial sense, you know, take care of yourself. The King of Pentacles is not right. It could be juggling a lot. See, like, there's a lot of competition here. But again, with the Ace of Swords, it's like, you know you're going to be victor victorious. You know you have the truth. It's just right now, Five of Pentacles in reverse. Somebody's trying to overwork you or make you compete or something like that. And it's like possibly causing you to feel less than, like you're not abundant, like you don't have money or just you spend that unnecessary money or you don't have it or something like that. All right. So what's the next thing coming towards Sagittarius? Princess of Cups in reverse. Seven of Swords. One, two, Justice. Could be like a half ass apology. I mean, there's an authentic person here. That could be you. Because that's feeling like the vibe of this Emperor, Justice, Fortitude. Like, I'm not taking shit from anyone. I'm giving myself peace. I'm aligning my, like, I'm being the partner that I would want to be with. Okay, I'm, I'm being that person. But there's deception here, again, with this toxic energy. And it's from somebody that's very close to you, a soulmate, somebody that she was once very connected to. Again, it could be parents. A grandparent and a parent. I, I feel like somebody that you would look up to or like as an equal at least or something like that. be like some half ass apology. Mm. Mm. Whatever you know. High priestess. You can have a secret admirer. I am getting that too. Princess of Cups in reverse. I don't know why this is giving me secret admirer. That could be the deception too. Like somebody is deceiving themselves by staying in, in silence or something like that. It could be this person. But somebody's coming in with the three of swords in reverse. It's like a peace offering or to make peace or something like that. Ten of Pentacles. I'm telling you, whatever it is, you're going to be victorious. And, you know, when it comes to finances, it's going to correct itself. And that's why it's like focusing on your stability, your, pro your pro productivity, being methodical, whatever it is at this time, being King of Pentacles. I'm very much focused on it. So seven of swords in reverse, the magician in reverse. Like there's still, it's like a half ass, like somebody admitting to what they, like it's like that type of situation where somebody, like you say something to someone over and over again, something, right? And then they come like, yeah, I know I was this, this and that, but it go deeper than that. Like they just, it's like appeasing, but they have an ulterior motive because there's still competition here. Five of swords, seven of wands. Two of Pentacles. I don't know. Trying to get in with you or something like that. Or keep you in a certain, like, within arm's length. Like, you know, to make sure that you kind of, like, they don't lose total, like, availability with you or something like that. Or to reestablish that if it's been severed. Yeah, stand on front, from on what you believe in. Four of wands, three of wands, that's a seven of wands. Chop wood in reverse. Virgo may be significant. Virgo got this card, I do believe, and in the reverse position. We have yin in reverse, so you know, action taking mode, okay? Observer in reverse, deep knowing in reverse, TikTok in reverse. So let's see, 42. And I'm gonna read all the messages.
essential meanings, being grounded in everyday experience, humility, the Oracle's message. There are times when the big dream is meant to lie dormant in your consciousness so that you can pay attention to the simple chores in your life. Consider why pruning a tree is the forerunner of delighting in the beautiful blooms when it is in full blossom. The mundane act of pulling off dead leaves, watering the soil, and then leaving it be to let nature take its course is an important step in manifestation. Taking your attention away from your goal brings you into a state of receptivity, all right? That's why this yin is in reverse, receiving, all right? This is the deeper purpose for releasing attachment. When you engage in everyday tasks in a meditative, contemplative way, you clear your energy to receive your aha moments, which brings you ever closer to what you seek. Relationship message. Nothing is as important right now as just doing what you need to do day to day. Let your heart remember that not everything has to be hard won, passionate, or even obviously meaningful. Relationships and friendships go through lulls when the everyday tasks are at the center of awareness. That is perfect now. Hold hands, watch, wash dish, dishes, make a fire, read a book, share a meal, say nothing, stare into space, pick up socks, tell a dumb joke, and leave space to breathe. The work of your relationship right now is very simple, just to be present. Funny how it takes work to just be. All is well, really. The prosperity message, now is the time to take small steps rather than larger leaps on the journey to creating your most prosperous life. Move your focus off your big dream and attend to the mundane chores. Focus on the little things that may have piled up while you've been mapping out the greater plan for the life you aspire to see manifest into reality. Chop wood, carry water as the Zen proverb advises, or wash dishes, walk the dog. While you're doing all that, spirit will have a chance to move mountains and set wondrous miracles in motion for you. Remain humble and aware of the presence. And finally, the protection message, which is being highlighted here. Are you an armchair astronaut? Do you dream of wealth and fame, big ideas, inventions, or desires with a capital D? The appearance of this card is a sign that you might be devoting far too much time to dreaming and talking about your dreams. You have to get out of the chair to make things happen. You actually have to do something. Start with a small task. Remember, the big dream becomes reality only after you have begun to take incremental steps. Mythologist Joseph Campbell once said, take one step towards the gods and they will take 10 steps towards you. Sagittarian, again, I appreciate you and I will see you next time. Peace.